The President, please be seated. The Chamber is now back in session. I notice the Defense Council on his feet. Go ahead. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Wu, thank you, Mr. President. Just vous interrompre tout à l'heure. To avoid interrupting you later on, respectueusement présenter mes excuses à la Chambre. I would like to Je ne serai pas là lundi et mardi prochain. I not be able to attend devant me rendre next au Monday Liban. And Tuesday, as I have to go to Liban. Lebanon within Donc, lundi the framework et mardi of my prochain, ce sera work in the qui Lebanon Tribunal. Au banc de la so, Mr. Kassavut will represent the defense Monday and Tuesday next week. Thank you. The President. Thank you, Defense Council, for the information. Merci de nous prévenir, dit le Président. Before we continue hearing the testimony of the witness Coxrow, Monsieur Coxrow, I would like to give the floor to Judge Cartwright to inquire concrete information from the co-prosecutor regarding their tentative submission as well as the tentative submission by civil party lawyer Stutsunski. Judge Cartwright, you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the co-prosecutors indicated a wish to make a brief submission. Uh, and um, the chamber is ready to hear that submission now. Thank you, Your Honour. Your Honour, the submission is basically in relation to the manner and conduct of the questioning. Uh, this morning, uh, Mr. President, you granted uh, the civil party the opportunity not to question the witness in the time slot provided, but go straight to the accused and question the accused. Um, as Your Honour is aware, under Rule 91, under Rule 91 and Rule 90, um, the basic rules in relation to the questioning of the accused are that the accused is questioned first in the trial, which he has done and given evidence, and then the witnesses follow. Uh, and certainly uh, the prosecution aunts are not in a position to say that uh, the accused should not be questioned by the parties as matters arise with the witnesses. But what we would say in relation to uh, the general obligation to uh, uh, protect victim and witnesses under Rule 29, where it states that uh, the trial chamber should take into account the needs of the victims and witnesses. Generally, we would submit that it's not the best method to um, allow the accused to be questioned and give, giving evidence in the middle of the witness's testimony. So, for example, as what happened today, we had the civil parties questioning the accused. The accused was disputing the testimony of the witness, and that was done prior to the witness uh, finishing his evidence. The, the effect of that, and I think we all saw the effect of that, is that it's quite intimidating to a witness to be challenged directly prior to you finishing your questioning. And the, the sum total effect of that is that the, the questioners that follow, the other civil parties and perhaps even the defence, um, they are left with the witness that has been um, undermined um, by by the accused before he's fully finished his testimony. And then, obviously, that uh, leaves in the mind of the witness that there's less trust in what, in what, what he has to say, 
and there is less ability for him to be able to testify confidently and comfortably. Now, the prosecution, uh, Your Honours, are not saying that the, the witness, of course, shouldn't be challenged, and he should be challenged uh, where appropriate. But uh, the challenging by the accused or the questioning of the accused should be the after, after the witness has fully testified so that um, he's not uh, intimidated by challenges that are made by the accused. Um, another matter that we would just like to raise is that we would submit the observations of the accused. <laughs> Excuse me, um, uh, Mr. Smith, would you just slow down a little because um, I think it's a bit difficult for translation to keep up with you. Thank you. I apologize for that. The, the second point, Your Honours, is in relation to when the accused makes, makes observations of the witness's testimony. Uh, we would submit that those observations should be made after the defence counsel has questioned the witness. And the reason why we state that is that we submit that it's important that the witness testifies in a regulated, methodical manner and all the parties, the council, the defence council and the civil parties are quite aware of how we should do that. The accused hasn't really or isn't really bound by those rules and, and procedures. And I, I would submit it's quite unregulated so that by the time he is questioned by the defence, um, there's a slight undermining of his, uh, of his uh, slight undermining of his confidence in giving the, giving the testimony. So we would submit that uh, the questioning by the parties of the accused be done once the defence counsel have finished, and secondly, the observations of the accused be made after the defence counsel has finished his questions in order to make the environment in which this witness testifies be as comfortable and uh, accommodating for him to get that testimony out. As Your Honours is aware, uh, it's very, very difficult for these witnesses to come to court 30 years later, and they come to court with uh, mixed feelings, which is quite understandable, and I think it's important that we create an atmosphere that encourages them to talk so that Your Honours can get to the, uh, the truth of the matter in this case. That's all the submissions I have. Yes, thank you. Now, um, is there any comment on that submission from the civil parties? It would be extremely helpful if perhaps one of the civil party lawyers could make the response on behalf of all. Uh, Mr. Jacquin? from the civil parties, well, maybe the civil parties could ask for extra time to ask questions to the accused. I think that would be an ideal solution. But if the interpretation of this rule was going to deprive the civil parties of the possibility of asking questions to the accused, I think that would be restrictive. And I think that each one's statements following uh, would 
de propos nous pouvons debate and an exchange que nous avoir un point précis a aussi un intérêt it would sinon, be of interest. les déclarations Otherwise, du sur les déclarations de la, les observations du prévenu sur les déclarations du témoin accuse, sont un peu une litanie Uh, referring to the witness our bit of uh, a unipersonal uh, litany nous fait part des observations mais sans que nous puissions which does plus précisément not allow us to interrogate and question him more specifically and also provides uh, information that does not answer our questions directly so i don't have the opposition of course to rule 90 of course serait idéal If we had extra time to ask questions, that would be ideal. So I would like to say that we had an informal discussion among the civil party lawyers, and we said that we felt a bit deprived, and we said that maybe we could also plan, because We had very minimal time during the last hearings. We would like, therefore, to be able to submit our questions in writing, the questions that we didn't have the time to ask. So this is what I would like to say concerning uh, these points. Can I just clarify, uh, Ms. Chacan, you have no objection to the proposal put by the, co the international co-prosecutor that the accused be questioned at, uh, after the defense has put its questions, uh, so long as uh, the civil parties have an opportunity to put questions, preferably with extra time allocated. Is that a fair summary? Monsieur le Président, si nous pouvons avoir deux temps de parole, un temps de parole au témoin et après un temps de parole à l'accusé, et le ça serait pour nous une solution idéale. Thank you. Merci de la juge Cotrape. Does the defense wish to comment? Certainement, Madame Mr. Roux, indeed. Mon collègue My colleague était inquiet de savoir si le témoin pouvait être effrayé. The concerned about the fact that the witness could be frightened. Je crois que c'est plutôt les coprocureurs qui sont effrayés par le contradictoire. La procédure qui a été utilisée ce matin me paraît une procédure qui permet le contradictoire. Proceeding that allows for an adversarial debate. Effrayé par le contradictoire. Je ne pense absolument pas, believe, et le témoin l'a prouvé, qu'il était effrayé this, en quoi que ce soit way par l'intervention de l'accusé au by, moment uh, où l'accusé, et pas le prévenu, Maître Jacquin, the euh, au moment où l'accusé est intervenu when the accused spoke sur les, les questions qui lui étaient posées par la partie civile. Je pense que le, la procédure qui a été utilisée est une procédure, procédure je dirais, interactive qui permet justement que soient posées en temps utile questions les questions qui s'imposent. Si maintenant If on devait we euh, décider de donner à nouveau du temps supplémentaire extra time again aux partis civils to the civil et aux procureurs and to the pour réinterroger l'accusé. Il faudra alors rouvrir la possibilité au témoin de répondre. Et on, re et on retombe dans les ornières dont nous sommes sortis il y a quelques semaines. Donc je, je suggère qu'on ne rentre pas à nouveau dans ce débat. Il me semble que, premièrement, on peut autoriser ou les partis civils 
ou le procureur a utilisé leur temps pour poser des questions directement à l'accusé et permettre ainsi au témoin qui n'a pas effectivement fini sa déclaration permettre au témoin de répondre comme il l'a fait. Il l'a fait. À l'occasion d'une autre question, il a répondu. C'est ce que j'appelle un interrogatoire interactif. Donc, pardon, on peut maintenir cette position qui a été adoptée ce matin, permettre à chaque partie d'utiliser son temps pour interroger l'accusé. Par contre, je redis, puisque nous parlons des temps de parole, je redis que je continue à considérer que ne donner à la défense pour poser ses propres questions que le même temps que les parties civiles, sans tenir compte du temps dont a pu disposer le co-procureur, je ne considère pas cette solution. Actuellement, satisfaisante. La défense devrait pouvoir profiter du même temps que l'ensemble des parties. Là, nous sommes dans un déséquilibre qui me paraît grave. Et puisque nous sommes également sur ce sujet, je dis que nous gagnerions tous beaucoup de temps et de clarté si les parties civiles pouvaient s'entendre entre elles pour que ce soit chaque fois une équipe qui pose les questions pour l'ensemble des parties. Et que, à tour de rôle, ce soit une équipe qui pose pour l'ensemble des parties. On gagnerait énormément de temps. Voilà la position de la défense, Madame le juge. Je veux juste te dire qu'on ne veut pas une seule personne. Metteru, um, just one point of clarification, please. Uh, can you give a concrete example of any time when the defence has not had enough time to put its full uh, uh, number of questions to any witness, civil party or the accused, for that matter? Oui, Madame le juge, je oui, peux vous indeed, dire que nous éliminons un certain nombre de nos questions, et je le regrette, and pour tenir so, compte du temps qui nous est imparti. Et à, à plusieurs reprises, j'ai éliminé des questions qui étaient prévues, questions à plusieurs reprises. The President, uh, Judge Lavergne, you take the floor. Judge Lavergne, it seems to me that up until now, well, it seemed to me that up until now, the defense had never fully used the time that was allotted to it. So, the defense had never fully used the time that was allotted to it. Vous nous dites que vous vous réfrénez dans euh, le questionnement euh, que vous souhaiteriez avoir à l'égard de certains témoins. Mais euh, je ne comprends But pas très bien parce que euh, 
si vous n'utilisez pas entièrement déjà le temps qui vous est alloué, comment vous pouvez dire que vous auriez aimé en avoir plus Oui, oui, je peux vous répondre. À partir du moment où je considère que une ou deux questions de fond que j'ai à poser va forcément déborder, je préfère ne pas poser. Et c'est arrivé l'autre jour pour l'interrogatoire de l'accusé lui-même. Et ça s'est reproduit à d'autres reprises. Ce n'est pas la peine que je m'engage dans un questionnement si je sais que je n'irai pas jusqu'à bout. Be able to go all the way with my Mais si questions. nous avons plus de temps, But je vous assure que nous l'utiliserons, peut-être pas tout le temps, effectivement. Il y a des fois où il n'est pas nécessaire de rajouter des questions. D'autres fois, oui, bien But sûr. Sometimes, yes, indeed. Dans ce cas, lorsque, Judge à la fin Lavergne, des questions, case, well, vous dites, vous, avocat de la défense, nous n'avons pas d'autres questions à poser, il faudrait peut-être être plus clair, parce que ce qui est enregistré sur le transcript, c'est que vous n'avez plus de questions à poser. No Et cette précision est, me semble-t-il, pour les juges, une précision entièrement nouvelle. Est-ce que is vous en convenez oui, merci, Monsieur le juge. J'en yes, prends note. Et effectivement, indeed, la prochaine fois, si nécessaire, j'ajouterai, étant donné le temps qui m'est imparti, je n'ai plus de questions à poser. No longer, je rappelle I know, I que c'est cette semaine que, put, alors que je terminais like de poser une question, you, le coup uh, est tombé et je n'ai même pas eu le temps de dire au revoir au témoin. Donc, et je me suis plié puisque c'est la décision de la Chambre. Mais si vous le souhaitez, je je préciserai chaque fois, la défense aurait eu des questions, des questions supplémentaires. D'accord, je le préciserai pour les, les besoins de la procès verbale. Je crois qu'il faut Judge pouvoir donner l'opportunité, l'occasion à la Chambre éventuellement d'examiner cette requête. Si vous ne le faites pas, c'est que la, la Chambre considérera qu'elle n'est saisie d'aucune requête et que le temps qui vous est accordé vous satisfait. Précisément, j'avais demandé à nos assistants de préparer une requête écrite pour dire que la défense considérait qu'elle n'avait pas assez de temps, donc vous aurez cette requête écrite prochainement. Peut-être pas nécessaire, je pense que... Alors, on, on peut, on peut, on peut, on peut, vous pouvez alors, si la Chambre, oui, on peut se dispenser d'une requête écrite, et je peux vous indiquer d'ores et déjà que la Chambre, que la défense souhaiterait avoir le même temps que les procureurs et les parties civiles réunies. Voilà quelle est la requête que je, que je fais. Attention, Ten minutes, but now nous we seem to stray away from minutes, the confined uh, time, and that uh, we are now violating the rights of the witness uh, because we are supposed to send him home after we finished uh, our testimony. So uh, it, we are now dealing with the request. Uh, according to what uh, the co-prosecutors and the parties would wish to have because they would prefer the expeditious uh, proceedings and for the course of justice. So please be brief. Thank you, Your Honor. I think that's the, the problem of having about 20, 25 lawyers in a room. Your Honor, in relation to uh, the defense's response, um, the prosecution's time limit is very short as well. And there needs to be an equality of arms at this trial. The civil parties don't have the responsibility of proving the case. The prosecution does. The prosecution, of course, would like more time to ask questions. The prosecution had a lot more questions to ask. Because, as you know, Your Honor, under the rules, the prosecution has the responsibility of proving the case beyond reasonable doubt. As far as, as, far as uh, time limits are concerned, this was an agreement that the defence 
um, bought into when we had the trial management meeting. All of the parties said that they wanted the trial to be short, but, uh, but also ascertain the truth. Uh, and to do that, all the parties vérité, have to compromise uh, to a certain temps, extent in relation to time limits. Diligente. So I find it strange donc, now that the defence are asking for more time when in the beginning they wanted the trial to be finished a lot more, quicker, more, more quickly temporelle. than was envisaged. Donc, uh, 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 just, and one last point, point the prosecution um, encourages the interact chose, uh, interactivity of the debate. However, nous, nous um, it's very, very important that the witness is not sitting in the dock being talked about by all of the parties in cross-examinations of the accused whilst they're in the, in the middle of their testimony. That's very, very undermining of their, of their evidence elles, and the way they would um, perceive their evidence before this court. Cela sape le sentiment que le témoin peut avoir d'avoir une déposition effective à faire devant la cour. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the uh, President wishes me to indicate that a ruling on this matter will be given um, uh, probably on Monday orally, uh, but uh, simply we reserve our decision on this point. Now, Ms. Studinsky, you had an application also. Yes, thank you. Um, I have one observation and uh, one application, as I uh, said um, this afternoon. Um, first, my observation from this uh, morning is as follows. Um, the four groups of civil parties have been allocated each group 15 minutes for questioning a witness. For questioning le um, and I observed that group two um, was interrupted already after 12 minutes. Now it seems to be um, perhaps, I take this word, um, ridiculous to uh, struggle for three minutes, but to give you um, uh, the 20, that is 20% of en fait, our minutes, time. And I even could not inform the chamber that I have this uh, clock there in the courtroom uh, in front of me and uh, where I observe if I abide by the time that was allocated to the parties. And I wanted to add Mr. President, to inform you, it is, as far as I see, not, uh, we didn't reach the 15 minutes, but it was not possible. While other parties and all parties, except the defense, uh, exceeded their time this morning, it was the prosecution and uh, the other civil party lawyers, I think, except group uh, four, I'm not sure. So that I, uh, um, would like to Donc, ask the chamber at least if this time is so short already, then that it's not possible to fort. cut Bref, it and to je um, deprive us 20% of our time and without having plus the opportunity to let the chamber know that this time was not yet reached. That is uh, one observation from this morning, and I checked this time if I want to know. Uh, Mr. Kongisei started at 11, uh, yes. at 8 past thank, 11. Thank you. Uh, I think you've made your point really clearly, and, and I understand it clearly. Could you move to your application now? Thank you. Uh, the application uh, is the following, and it has, um, I will explain it very briefly, um, that all civil party or 
it happens to civil party uh, lawyers that Les they could not civils, uh, ask all questions um, that they wanted to ask and that they prepared de in the allocated time. And I would like to make and that concerns the questions to the accused and to witnesses. And I would like to make the following application um, Donc, ma est to allow comme suit. us to Nous submit at least de the outstanding questions au moins to the chamber and to give the chamber the opportunity at least to ask these questions les and only to give, you, only to give you one example from uh, the de witness, Pro Mr. Prakhan from today, who uh, was asked if Prakhan. he ever saw the accused si uh, being involved personally in torture. The witness responded with no, but Il he was not asked non, and it could not be he could not be asked because uh, for lack of time I have prepared these questions. But he could not be asked what uh, is about the kicking against people that he has according to previous Connex statement uh, observed or blows given to uh, prisoners that he uh, claimed accusé, to have, de uh, obs have, have have obs observed, and so uh, as we have learned from the witness, uh, Mr. Van Nat, there is a very different Nath, understanding what torture is, and as Mr. Van Nat, when he testified, uh, said that he obviously did not. Um, lui, understand kicking, for example, as uh, torture. And uh, therefore, only to give you one brief example there, it sens. would be uh, helpful that at least the chamber, if not the parties, get this right, if at least the chamber could take si uh, such, I think, important questions uh, to put them to the witnesses or the Respective the accused. And so my application is to give the parties the opportunity, all parties, of course, to submit their questions that are not yet, could not yet uh, um, be asked to, before the chamber to um, let them know which they find still uh, necessary to ask the witness or the accused. Thank you. This is my application. Euh, le fait de poser certaines de ces questions à l'accusé ou au témoin. Assuming that all civil party uh, lawyers support that application, does the, do the co-prosecutors have any comment, submission to make? Just the, the mechanics of it. I mean, writing down the questions and giving them to your honours, um, whether it be in three languages, it, it, may, it may still be better that uh, at the end of the end of the, the questioning by the defence, that the parties actually submit them directly um, rather than in writing. I think it might actually take less time if they just briefly perhaps announce what the topic is and have your honours decide whether that topic or that particular question is relevant. I think it might be more time consuming if it was in writing. But we support the, the idea in principle. Sorry, could I only uh, clarify? Of course, I didn't say it, but I meant to submit this question to make it uh, complete. Uh, orally, of course, uh, uh, to the chamber and not uh, in writing. Thank you. Does the defence have any comment? Madame le juge Cartwright, la défense a-t-elle un commentaire là-dessus? Madame le, le juge, c'est une Your autre Honor, manière de poser la même question que celle qui a déjà été posée par un autre groupe de partis civils, c'est-à-dire d'essayer d'avoir du temps supplémentaire à la fin des débats pour recommencer le débat. La défense est totalement opposée au fait que l'on recommence le débat. Et donc, sous réserve de ce que j'ai indiqué tout à l'heure concernant le temps que la défense réclame pour le, sur un principe d'égalité des armes, sous cette réserve, 
Je considère que la procédure qui est utilisée maintenant depuis quelques semaines est précisément la procédure qui nous a permis d'avancer dans ce procès et que nous ne devons pas revenir en arrière. The President, uh, Mr. Kasabut, uh, you take the floor. Lawyer Kasabut, thank you, Mr. President, Merci, Your Honor. So far as I remember, Pour autant que je me souvienne, Ms. Tutsinski was the one Tutsinski who would like uh, the proceedings to be more expeditious, and she was encouraging such expedited proceedings. Uh, now, I don't understand uh, why she keeps uh, prolonging such a proceedings, and I don't know when and how long she would like the proceedings to last uh, after all. So I would... Uh, I request the chamber to stand by its uh, decision and practice so far. Yes, I, I note, uh, Ms. Studensky, that you wish to take the floor again. As I understand the civil law system, the defence has the final right to speak. Uh, unlike the system I am accustomed to, you get no right of reply, so I'm very sorry. The President. Le président. Now we have heard the submissions Alors nous avons entendu les made by the co-prosecutor and the two civil party counsels. De la part des co-procureurs, des parties civiles. And we will notified the parties of our decision on Monday next week, that is 27 of July 2009. The Chamber regrets that the time La Chambre allocated regrette que to the hearing of the testimony as well as the time allocation to hear the submissions by the co-prosecutor and the civil party lawyer was supposed to be something like 10 minutes, but it took almost an hour now. So we do not have time to continue Nous hearing the testimony of the witness, Cox Ross, the chamber 
apologizes to the witness s'excuse auprès du témoin that we decided to keep you until now que and the chamber will now adjourn jusqu'à maintenant it will resume on La monday next week 27 of july 2009 from 9am à 9h du matin court officer le 27 juillet can you facilitate with the visu to have the witness return to his residence and invite him to come back to the chamber on Monday, 27 of July, at 9 a.m., in order to continue to hear his testimony. Security guards take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back on Monday 27 of July at 9 a.m. The chamber is now adjourned.